Worldwide Auctioneers here in Auburn, Indiana. I'm Josh from Motor Vault. We're having fun checking out this spring Auburn auction. Everything from pre-war cars to supercars to rest of mods to muscle. Anything you could think of is here. It is a small version of what will be here in the fall. We're checking out the values of the cars, seeing what happens today, checking out the market and getting a little bit of vibe of what the Indiana car scene is all about. Welcome to Worldwide Auctioneers. We have John Cruz, the man behind all this greatness. John, how are you today, man? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for being here. It's good to see you. Good to see you. So how many years have you been in the building and what do you guys have planned? Well, this is our fifth year in this facility. It is our, uh, see here, we have, I believe, 15th year in Auburn and this is our 21st year as a company. but. We are really uh, fortunate to be here in Auburn, which is the birthplace of the classic car auction industry and America's favorite auction. And so we are really bringing together both styles of collector car auctions that we see where we're very serious, but we can still have a good time. So a lot of them are kind of one way or the other, and we're trying to strike that balance, and we think it's a representation and uh, the true enthusiasts of our industry and what we're trying to accomplish when we're buying and selling cars here with folks in Auburn, Indiana. Absolutely. I mean, everything from pre-war to supercars to resto mods to 80s Radwood cars, it's all here. Yeah. And this is just a small sample because we know the fall sale, the flagship sale, you guys got some big stuff planned. I know the four GTs up there, got some good things coming. Well, we really like you. Know, the people are what make this industry and this hobby and so while well, you see four GTs this one of course is a carbon series with the appearance package but uh, the guy that owns it on the Ford design team he's the guy who worked really hard and and they let him get an allocation kind of one of those dream things so you work for it, you can get it and he's a representation of the hobby so that being his car is really special we got custom body classics that'll be here we've got you know modern supercars like the GT so Labor Day is going to be a blast all roads lead to Auburn Labor Day weekend it is a must attend deal and it's going to be a lot of fun awesome how many cars are we thinking five six hundred somewhere around there maybe well we're focused on a well curated group of cars we want to have good and great cars so I'm more focused on that than I am on the quantity you know quantity can take care of itself uh, but we want to have great stuff that everybody can look around and be like hey man everything here is cool even if it is a ten or twenty thousand dollar car like, hey that's a cool car it's a good car and then right up to our seven figure stuff so we'll see I, I do know that the car corral will be way bigger yeah uh, the swap meet our vendor participation and probably the crowds everybody seems to be planning to make their way back here or come back and a lot of people who've never been here and so personal invitation if you've never been to Labor Day weekend in it's Auburn, a fun time it is definitely in my opinion a top five automotive event in the nation now and might even become a top fiver here soon but Absolutely. it's a top 10 must attend you got to be here and we will be here looking forward to it the tradition continues john thank you absolutely looking forward to some more fun times here in auburn what do you think josh oh i like that one
You know, I love my Radwood cars, the 80s, 90s cars. A little bit of wedge, a little bit of curve, all sorts of fun, all sorts of character. I don't know, we'll see where this one goes for. The Corrado market is all over the place. It's kind of really hard to nail this one down. But nice example for sure. Debatably one of the best looking Mustangs of all time, the 67 Shelby GT500 Fastback. 428, four speed, Carol's autograph. This will be a good car today. Show the variety what's up here. We got muscle, we got 40s woodies, we got Jeeps, we got Radwood Porsche. We got a whole slew of great cars here. Worldwide knows how to put on a show. The white with the blue stripes, the 428, the hood pins. This, in my opinion, is the best looking of all the Mustangs. First year for the big block in a Mustang, 1967. It's hard to beat this, it truly is. This one, I think, is going to do 190 on the block. We'll see what happens. One hundred and forty-three thousand bid quickly, Abby. At one forty-three, just ask him yes or no. I got a good bidder here, and I'm going to take care of them all. At one forty-three for the first time. One hundred and forty-three for the second time. Anyone else? Third and final call. Forty-four. One forty-four. One forty-five. One forty-five. But do it quickly. One forty-five. One forty-five for the first time. One forty-five. He's got to be quick. Second time, third time, sold. 144. 144, sold in the front. Don't wait too long. 402, thank you. Good bidders. 402 and 144,000. Nicely done. And lot number 15. race. Here we go. 63 split window. Icon. Light blue, just like the one that we had. We'll see what this goes for. Curious about this one. I don't know. 140, maybe? We'll see. Market's interesting today. A little bit of everything. Killer Corvette, and I sell it now at 145, 147.5, 147.5 for the first time, second time, third and final call, fair warning, y'all done? Sold 145, sold 145. We were close on that one, five grand off, good deal, Martin Strong. 1936 Delahaye, this is what Auburn is all made about. The pre-war cars, the coach build design. This one is stunning, the white, blue, the teardrop design. This is the highlight car of the sale. We'll see what it goes for. One thing about these pre-war cars that are different from modern cars is that they are coach built. I mean, there's a company who actually custom fabricated these bodies. This one being Fagoni and Falashi out of, out of France. Absolutely stunning. That six cylinder, mint. <laughs> Here we go, moment of the show. The star, the stud, the million dollar deal. Here we go. Sold 150,000, give a big hand. 150,000. 506 is the winner, ladies and gentlemen. 506 is the winner. Bill Bullock Thunderbird, 1963. Big block 390. Really special design on these cars. The original Thunderbirds are so much smaller. These got so much bigger. Their parade floats with a bullet nose. They're awesome. The tail lights is one of my favorite features on these cars. Straight out of the jet era. These are so unique, so special for these Thunderbirds. The Duesenberg, this is what Auburn is made all about. The Doozy, that's where that quote comes from, by the way, was these cars. They are so expensive, so outlandish that they really did cause the mind to stir, especially back in the pre-war era when 
Obviously the economy was struggling and people were spending outlandish money on these cars. This one is a recreation of an original Duesenberg. This was built right about 1980, but it looks the part. My goodness, is this one stunning. One great feature about the original Duesenbergs is that the supercharged cars mostly had these massive exhaust tubes coming out of the side. Art Deco, beyond belief on these cars. The hood ornaments, they were really truly art on wheels. The teardrop boat tail design, as you can see, it did really look like the back end of an old boat from the 1930s. Really, really special. You do not see that on cars today. And I checked that out. That's you can put your golf clubs. <laughs> A nice little stowaway on the side of the car. That's cool. Look at this. Golf clubs and the whole 10 yards in there. For 155,000. For 150 on bid. 155,000. 155. 152.5. 155. Yep. 152.5, Sounds good, life's good. We're at Auburn, we had a blast today at the Worldwide Auction. Checking out the sights and sounds of the original car scene from Indiana. 1971 was the very first collector car auction. It was here in Auburn, the history continues. The spring sale was fun, some great cars. The fall sale is gonna be even better, about 500 cars, a lot of high-end stuff, including that black Ford GT. We'll see you guys then, stay tuned. See us later, Dodge Big Four, I'm not with you guys. And number 50 is 1975 Ford Pronto 4x4 wagon. This has to be, it says one of the finest on the day, if you want to let me say it.